Okay, so we've got our power connected. It's turned off. Now we're going to connect the data. There's loads of different ways to do this. Um, here's the edge connector way. So we've kept our connector on, which is really important because it gives us access to some female terminals. I'm going to use a male to female jumper wire and connect the data wire and the ground wire. So on my strip, data is green and ground is white. Um, so then I'm just going to connect these to the pins on the edge connector. So green is data. I'm going to connect that to pin zero on the edge connector. And yellow or white is ground. I'm going to connect that to zero volts here on the edge connector. Now, I like that connection. It's really secure. Nothing's going anywhere. We can then just slot the micro bit in. This is also great because you can take it away and encode it. We need to power the micro bit. So the micro bit's not being powered by this battery pack. Um, so we're going to plug the JST connector in, just like normal. Uh, nothing's going to happen because we've not turned on our light strip. Well, let's, fingers crossed, turn our light strip, reset this, and just cry a little bit because it's not worked. Okay, let's check all our connections here. Do, 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 do. No, nope. Green. Oh, there it is. I've connected yellow into five volts. Ah. Let's try that again. Hooray! There we go. And that's our light strip lighting up.